tune of zero dollars, and I don't have a computer capable of actually recording this game any other way, so I will have to live stream it. So bear that in mind. And All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be taking a quick look at a game called Haven. And after watching the trailer, I have to say it's probably one of the worst game trailers that I've ever seen. And I want to share it with you guys before I start the game. Zero dollars, and I don't have a computer capable of actually recording this game any other way, so I will have to live stream it. Okay, so he just said he doesn't have any money, he doesn't have a computer to record the game, so he has to live stream it. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. Like, any computer can record video. You just download OBS and record your desktop. I'm not entirely sure what he's saying. I wonder if this trailer was, like, live-streamed to Twitch. <laughs> if so, that's pretty funny. But just listen to that one more time. Zero dollars, and I don't have a computer capable of actually recording this game any other way, so I will have to live-stream it. So, bear that in mind, and... Here I'll basically be showing you some of the unique features you can find in Haven. So, firstly, as you can see, everything is custom. All the art is custom, and all the music is custom, although you probably can't hear it too well right now, but don't worry, the other videos here will go ahead and show you that just fine if you so care to listen to the custom music. So the art is custom, and the music is custom. I wonder if he understands that, like, most video games have custom-made assets, like, that's pretty standard in like the game industry um, I do know that this is an RPG maker game so I guess he's trying to say that he's not using the default assets of RPG maker but <laughs> I'm not really sure why he has to make that point in a game trailer everything's custom and basically uh, Claril here does not have any skills because we didn't go into his skill tree but I will show that in another video for now Claril you're not going to do shit so well, you are going to do shit, you're just going to attack, so... But who really cares what you... What is he talking about? <laughs> Claril, you're not going to do shit. Oh, you are going to do shit, you're going to attack. Like, what? What we care about here in this video is what the bookkeeper does. See, there's no classes in Haven. So each character has a unique function that they provide to the battle. And these functions, of course, grow and improve as you progress throughout the story. And as your characters grow. So... The bookkeeper here, we're going to talk about his particular ability called Bookmark, and this basically saves a turn. So, instead of explaining this outright, let me just go ahead and show you. So, I was going to just attack, and the bookkeeper is going to go ahead and use Bookmark. Now, you'll see nothing really happened. Now, what we're going to do is just have them both attack. Nothing really happened. That way we can, you know, show some differences here. Get some damage taken, you know. I mean, Claro's pretty into BDSM. I wouldn't know anything about that. Hold on, what did he just say? Taken, you know. I mean, Claro's pretty into BDSM. I wouldn't know anything about that. What? It's completely random. Why would he say that? Especially in a game trailer. Oh, Claro's into BDSM, but I wouldn't know anything about that. What? <laughs> this trailer is so... I'm just saying. Just terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and do another turn here. Again, everything is custom. All these animations and everything. <laughs> Again, are all custom. everything is custom. Be aware animations that there are, are custom. some animations missing from the game, but you know. Oh, there's animations missing from the game. Oh, okay. They will be certainly added, without a doubt. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Claril just guard for now, and we're gonna have the bookkeeper use reread. You'll see here that his bookmark ability is now gone, and has been replaced with reread. And given this. We'll go ahead and remember that previous turn that we saved before, and everyone's stats will go back to the way they were that turn. So let's go ahead and reread, see what happens. Now, of course, damage will be taken, and it won't, you know, it will take that into account. And as you can see, everyone's stats are more or less back to where they were, minus some damage here that occurred during that turn. So, that's some of the unique aspects of the Bookkeeper, and there's three total Alter Egos that you can use. Your Alter Egos are basically your other party members, and even later on in the game... So I just want to pause for a second, and I just want to talk about the background. What is going on with this background? There's just this, like, eyeball, and this, like, tube thing, and there's another eyeball, and then there's... Like, are we inside some sort of body? Like, what is happening here? And what are these enemies? Like, what is this? And, like, the Bookkeeper? <laughs> 
What the heck? You can use up to two alter egos at a time and be able to actually combine their strategies to be more effective in combat. So I hope you appreciate this trailer, despite how poorly made it was due to the lack of budget. And <laughs> I hope you go ahead and support Haven on Greenlight. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourselves a pleasant evening. All right, so here we are in the game. Of course, this is an RPG Maker game, so the uh, resolution is going to be terrible. I don't know if it'll even support full screen, but let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, I didn't even realize I was in the game. This doesn't look familiar at all. Perhaps you should look at things with Enter. Like that tree over there, or maybe that stump. Sometimes you can look at things that aren't right next to you. I wonder where that spiral leads to. Oh. What? Pressing the S key? I don't understand. I have no friends, I'm... I must hug? I have no friends and I must hug. <laughs> Trees are not supposed to work like that? Alright, so the enter key is how you basically examine objects. Uh, so I guess I'll just go to the end here. Wait. Okay, so this is the end. Are you alive? He's moving, everyone, he's moving. A black and gooey entity catches your eye as it wanders to its group. You must be dreaming, at least that's what you'd like to think. However, the place is your own invention, and soon you will remember me. Remember all that I have done for you. I will have you on your knees, Clarel. This font is really hard to read, by the way. You have my word. Damn voices in my head, where am I? Answer me. The gooey creatures show signs of human fear. They are afraid of you, and yet that fear is also met with love. A love which they could die for you. They speak in delayed unison. They are like the children you'll never have. We are here. Where is here? Uh, that one will suffer greatly, I assure you. You are here, here are you. Such sophistry. Very poetic, very, very foolish. Will you listen to yourself? Listen to me. Your virginity is a thorn in my backside. Hehe, <laughs> if I had one, that is. Watch your children suffer for their sins, lest you continue to forget your place. Shade. Shade. The form of inkling morphs into a shade on my command. Sharp red fangs, a single blood eye. I suggest you kill it before it kills you. Who the hell are you, Clarol? Alright, so this is basically the main game. Words. Siphon. Converts enemy ink into sanity. Converts enemy sanity into ink. I don't understand what that means. I'm just gonna attack. Execute. Eat you. Kill you. Freedom. Such wonderful words to awaken to. Truly, we should get married and have wonderful ink babies. What happens if I use Siphon? I just want to see. I don't know what these numbers even mean. Oh, now there's three of them? Four of them? Fantastic. And here I thought I wasn't insane enough. Alright, I killed one. Why is there two numbers per attack? So what does Siphon do exactly? I have no idea. I just healed. I guess Siphon heals you a little bit of your health. Um, maybe I should try to level their ability. Death. Can you hear the music? What is up with the music? Sap. Converts enemy sanity into ink. Ink must be like mana.
All right, well, we completed the first battle. There's nothing but foil and trouble. What the heck? We leveled up. Right, I'm just gonna skip through some of this dialogue. I mean, honestly, I would say the game isn't that bad, especially for an RPG Maker game. I mean, it has a unique, like, environment, and a unique, like, setting, unique, um, world to explore. And, uh, like, as an RPG Maker game, this isn't necessarily bad. Um, the combat is fine, it's just turn-based. But, uh, I mean, some of these things actually look quite interesting. I'm just gonna skip through the dialogue just because there's way too much to read. Talk to the children, all of them, and then come see me. I don't really feel like wasting too much more time. Uh, the game probably just keeps going on like this, and you go into different areas, fighting various creatures. Uh, so very basic game. I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad, I just haven't really given it a good, fair shot yet. Um, but geez, that trailer was terrible. So I think I'm just going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.